Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where, listen, I know it's not the correct game, but I just finished downloading Assassin's Creed Mirage and I want to play it so bad. I thought I had this weekend to play Baldur's Gate and that Mirage would come out next weekend, but it came out this weekend. <laughs> I want to play it so bad. But I have been playing Baldur's Gate regularly with my friends, especially my one friend. We're going through it pretty fast and I don't want to start Act 2 in that game until I get to act two in this game. So I'm like, all right. And plus I've missed Baldur's Gate. And I, I was legitimately excited to play Baldur's Gate <laughs> this weekend. I was like, I had the whole weekend for Baldur's Gate. And now I'm like, well, time to play Assassin's Screen Mirage 2. <laughs> so I'm so excited for that game. I'm just so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. There's so many good video games coming out. Um, I mean, there's the sad news about Bioware firing their entire uh, unionized QA department. So, but that's tragedy. That's tragic. Well, tragedy is a bit excessive. It's tragic. It's sad. It's disappointing is what it is. Um, but that's not here. Now we have the... We've come in a strange circle of full ses successor where... What was it? Wasn't it? Baldur's Gate 1 was the spiritual successor to, or to Dragon Age Origins. And now we have Baldur's Gate 3, which is the spiritual successor to the entire Bioware franchise at this point. Because it's done what... A lot of old things do, and they just get worse as they get older. <laughs> like a lot of senators and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot for me to go on and on about. There's explosions going off somewhere. I don't know where. Anyway, what we're doing now, as far as I know, we're going to go to the, um, we call it the Underdark. I want to rescue the Grand Duke, obviously. We gotta find the Night Song, which is in the Underdark. Masterwork weapon in the Underdark. Um, I don't care about this. Um, yeah, so we need Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. We also do apparently have to go through the pass at some point if we want, um, you know, great things to happen. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I have all these great. It has been a little bit since I played personally on this save file. Again, on Divine Smite. What? On Mist does not spend a spell slot. What a lovely spell! Oh my gosh. Uh, as it is, though, this is the party I will probably be taking to the Underdark with me. Because I want to bring Will. Because we have... We want to go save his dad. Although, is his dad... No, he is in the Moonrise Towers. Yeah, okay, he's not in the past. He's in Moonrise Towers. Which, to get to Moonrise Towers, we can go through the Mountain Pass or the Underdark. Yes, okay. This is the party we will go with. Uh, I know I have... Oh, I have two... Do I need... Maybe I just need a short rest. I, I haven't used... Come on, let's go! I haven't used my spells. Trust no used... one. Yeah, maybe we'll just do a short rest. Oh, well... Some rests better than none. Mm, yes, <laughs> I love his voice so honest. I, I know, I know. I'm. Somebody said in the comments, they're like, you know, if you're nice to a stary and he'll be nice to you. I'm like, I think that's not how it works. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I have, I'm so far behind on comments, it's ridiculous. But I'm like, I try being nice to him, and he's like, no. He's like, absolutely not. And I'm like, okay, fine. And literally, when you do good things, he doesn't like it. <laughs> like, he gets mad at you or he disapproves whenever you're nice to people and it's like I mean I know it's like oh we don't want to like waste our time helping other people that's mostly what he gets like disapproval on but I'm like no <laughs> at least right now I'm not gonna be mean to him in game I'm just personally like why would I want to bring a grumpy pants around <laughs> like I want to bring Will Grace and Carter Grace and <laughs> wow I cannot I constantly mix up uh Will and Gail all the time I have noticed when I'm editing Will Gail and Karlak are nice and they're friendly and it's a happy squad and that's who I want to bring but I need Asterian's firepower so here we are um let's just go to the freaking Underdark where it at where the Underdark we're off no some and you seems a perfect hunting ground for you know perfect you try drinking in Earth Elemental's blood Why is attention? Is Karlak in? Yeah. Why is she in her underwear? And it's not even the right underwear because I thought maybe it's a different game. 
in a different game, I have her wearing Minthara's under things, I guess. Yeah, I thought I dyed her. Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna we're gonna bullhead our way through this oh, as per usual, mm -hmm. and uh, see what happens. I know there's some giant minotaurs right out the gate. There's gotta be a way. Maybe if we all do feather fall and jump from here, we won't get like totally wrecked by the by the beam of evil. Because as far as I know, there's no way to avoid the beam. I don't see. And we can light the candle. There's nothing to like turn off whatever this is. Can I? Oh. Target outside normal. Oh. Do I want to break that though? I don't know. If There's someone there. Maybe. Maybe Asterion can do it. Um. We're not on the low ground. Okay, I'll put him up here. I mean, I'd rather just yoink it, but I don't. I don't think I can fly. Okay. Dang it. Necrotic resistance. It's immune to psychic, immune to poison. Radiant damage is half, but it is weak to bludgeoning. Mm hmm? Can I throw something at it? work I used my own arrows I don't know maybe it was maybe because is my crossbow do more bludgeoning damage and the regular bow does it piercing no weird I don't know maybe I just didn't hit it right anyway I tried throwing the oil barrel at it and it didn't work uh well that's cool now I uh, we broke it <laughs> I do feel bad. That was definitely maybe something I shouldn't have done. Especially because, look, oh, there's this, like, there's this altar here that maybe I could have uh, put something into. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Ooh. Well. Your decisions, consequences, have back. decisions. Good <laughs> decisions have consequences, and the actions of my own consequences have decisions. <laughs> oh, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'm just a real dumb. A crooked touch. Real dumb paladin. Oh, let's see. Oh, he should. He should get this easy. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Now, I'm like, oh, I'm being so clever. Look at me. Ha, ha, ha. Breaking the thing that's causing me pain. And really, there was probably a much more subtle way to do that. And I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Not an idiot. I'm a, I'm a bullheaded, I'm a, I'm a bullheaded uh, paladin who um, reads books occasionally. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe religious wars are, uh, just not worth it. And only really, you only realize that at the end. How lovely. In order to utilize Asterion properly, we need to be sneaksy. Just like old times. 
Whatever's in the air, it tastes foul. It's mushroom. Let's not get buried down here. is a canyon and the words echo from every crevasse i'm sorry starian coming they're coming man this is oh man i hate doing this with the other characters on accident i was just trying to ooh okay this is specific to Asterian. who's coming cazador's minions have they found me coming was just trying to get a little sneaky spot. Well, never a dull moment. I never, I never, I, I do actually want to reload all the time, constantly. Um, but I never, like for things like that, I'm like, should I? Is it more story appropriate if I'm the one who's doing it? But alas, it is what it is. See if I can get him in this back corner. Have a lot on my mind. And we'll, and we'll just, uh, yeah. we'll just, um. Uh, I can't use my fairy fire down here. That's the worst. Actually. Oh, there it is. Mm. Just trying to decide. What path lies before me? Oops. What? That didn't happen last time. Was it? Awa, Abou, Aboule, French. Just want to cast bless. Okay, let's do this. Come here. I'm over here. I challenge you. Move closer to her. Maybe it's a bad idea, but. You know, I was really okay. Yeah, I was like, I was hoping. Oh, I keep forgetting. I have these. We're doing fine, honestly. Um, but <laughs> I should. You know, I have these two up here for a reason. I got distracted. Um, actually. I'd love to use cloud. Of Daggers without it hitting Karlak. Oh, did that hit? I thought it didn't. I thought it didn't have her highlighted. Oh. Time for the He should die because of the moonbeam and everything. Oh my gosh, we are wrecking these guys. Oh my gosh, we are wrecking these guys. My turn. I kind of want to use Divine Smite on him. I've never done it before. Let's do it. Oh, but I didn't, it didn't, oh, that was good, because I used Divine Smite, right? Yeah, okay, let's try again. Okay, that did a pretty decent amount of damage. What? Oh, because he jumped in place? Oh my gosh, he took so much damage. Eldritch Blast. What? Why do you get- why do I get two blasts of it? Wild. Okay. Love it. Oh, Carla! Oh, get out of it, you crazy! Oh my gosh, I hate everybody. Why are you guys? Why are they walking through it? I don't. We were doing fine, and then they. I don't understand why they path through those things. Am I needed? Can I turn it off? Turn it off. I don't know how to turn Cloud of Daggers off. Man. We were actually doing really well. Here I go. Oh, that was stupid. 
Okay, quick saving. I gave her two greater healing potions just because we just got here. I don't need to go crazy. Dark one's blessing. We can so the the spores aren't the worst How thing. How farther can I go? If it's just rapport spores, and it just means we be all chatty with each other in our heads. We're already connected telepathically. It's all good. Viridian crystal. I was wondering if that was pick upable. Pockets. Ancient selenite journal. What's hiding here? Where'd it? Show me the journal. They're very weird sometimes about what you can and cannot pick up or interact with. Like I can pick it up if I click on the name, but I couldn't just read it. I can't sleep without the moon and stars. As a child, I prayed to them before I ever knew someone's name. It had blasphemed me. When I walked to the battlements, the only light I see is the glow of their eyes out there waiting. I know the high initiate is making a plan. He'll get us out of this. We're making a stand. Mood maiden fair. Lend us your light to guide us home in dark of night, to keep us on the path of right, ever burning, ever. The last line of the prayer succumbs to blurring as if stained by something wet. Tears! Tragedy! Money. A bone cap. Oh, I was like, a bone cap. Why would I want. And I'm th I was thinking, like, a kneecap. I'm like, why? Would I want that? Whoa! Whoa! I'm cheating. I'm looking ahead. There's just so many paths to take. There's these. Like, what's over here? <gasps> There's a magic sword over there. Oh my gosh. And what's this? Just right. Just, just greenery. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, here. Come, come with me. I guess you errant children. Are we gonna are we gonna get boondoggled by these spores? Nightlight. Oh, cool. Nightlight. What do I what do I get from that? I, am I stealing his light? Thank you. Nightlight front. All right. What is this? A slender drow blade impales the stone <gasps> before you, keeping a silent vigil. Ooh! Ooh! That's so cool. I have been reading Dritz. Um, I've been reading the first one. It's called Homecoming or something. Uh, I have. I think I've already mentioned it, but I just bought the first three books in like a compendium type thing recently. Uh, and I finally started reading the first one, and I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it a lot. I read it as, like, my relaxing read after work. Um, so let's see. Consider pal pal Paladin religion. Consider what the appropriate ritual might be. My option. Come on, baby. Yeah, buddy. I'm so religious. <laughs> Even though I just broke saloons. Freaking, she was not my goddess. I like nature gods. I don't even have one picked out. It's just a general oath. And I didn't oath against nature. I didn't do that. <laughs> this blade was a warrior's sacrifice to Elistray. Blood can only be honored with blood. Hell yeah, I'll bleed on it. Pshaw. Maybe I shouldn't. Let your embodied oath pour through you. Grip the sword. Prove your worth. <sighs> No, I think I want to do it the original way. Like, I know it's, it's, it's fun to pick these extra ones, and I do have, uh, like, chances I can roll, but I think this is a for sure one. And I'm drow. Like, I think despite, you know, not being, like, the typical drow, um, or, like, not the typical drow, the, uh, the un typical underdark drow, I can't remember what the word for them, loth, the loth drow versus whatever I am, um... I think there'd be something there, right? Where you want to respect the ritual, essentially, of, like, your ancestors, even if you think they were, you know, trained to be evil. No one's born inherently evil, I think. What's his name? Uh, Dritz is proof of that, you know? I think he's supposed to be the exception to the rule, which is dumb. But, like, you know, he... 
I think it kind of po- it kind of tries to point out, at least in the beginning of the book, that like there's one other guy who's not like an inherently evil drow, and it's because he wasn't forced to do this like certain ritual thing upon like I don't know like coming of age or something. So I think it really is a lot of loth manipulation. Um, but despite that, having a complicated relationship with your past and your ancestors, I think you'd still want to honor it in some small way. Here is how I'm gonna do it. So shed a few drops of blood onto the stone. The drow script inscribed on the blade flickers and glows. It rises from the stone, <gasps> hanging in the air in silent offering. Oh, it's so awesome! Wow! I took no damage! Okay. Yeah, nightlight frond, okay, 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 and sword. Falar Aluva. Press I. Show me. I do like the spear I am holding currently, but is it one-handed? <sighs> it is. Okay, it's versatile, one or two-handed. The drowned inscription on this blade appears to have been recently carved. It translates to, though I have to leave you, I will dance forever in a last stray's light. I'm not far enough in dritched books to know if this is a dritched thing. Is this his blade? I don't know. Um, but it's cool, but the sparky points. Oh, I love it so much. No, I wanna, I wanna use the drow blade. Oh my gosh, it looks like it was made for me. Look at it. I was also curious if I bled drow blood on it, if, if the sword would like have a particular recognition of any sort. Like, oh yes, you do deserve to have this blade, blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, just call me Arthur. Pulling swords out of the stone. See? Glad I went this way first. Um, I think there's no other way from here. This is just a little outcrop. Okay. There's this stuff over here, obviously, but I think we... Whoa, you can go... I could maybe... Oh, could I? Oh, was there a side door that I missed? No, okay, that just opens into the abyss. Um, oh, I bet you I could. Oh, 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 I mean, this is where we were having our problems, unless these ladies are going to be mad at me. Maybe they'll be mad at me. We could try to jump and go and walk around over here. Yeah, yeah, look at this. There's a ladder and everything. Or we could just walk out the... Hold up. Walk, walk out this dang nab window here. What's that? A petrified- <gasps> There's petrified people over here. Not that one. I should probably go- oh, I should probably go over here first. I'm so indecisive. Oh, I'm so indecisive. Ah, oh, but I found a secret route. Kind of, sort of. Ah, yes! <laughs> I need feather fall. This is gonna hurt if I don't. Come, come. Do I not have- Does he not have feather- <gasps> What game was I playing that Asterion had feather fall? Sharp as ever. Or was it- I could go for a good meal. Oh no. Huh? I swear he had feather fall. Was it like an item he had? Like as a spell, I could have sworn he had it. Oh, maybe I have it. everything. That's a scroll. Maybe I can just jump? I wonder, I just, I just worry that not everybody... Excuse me. I worry that not everybody can make the jump. I was hoping something would pop up, or like, or someone would say something. I do have, um... I don't know if I should use it now, but I do have a basilisk thing. Where is it? Oh, I do have a potion of flying. Petrified drow, they were fighting something that was right here, it looks like. Maybe. Maybe we two go on ahead. I'd love to, thanks. Maybe we go ahead my and step. see. Oh, those explode. Ah, I knew, I knew it. I knew it. Ooh. 
No, I put you guys in the back on purpose, and I did. I purposely left you guys behind because oh, I knew it was a trap. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And, um, is it a mind flare? What are these called? I cannot remember. You are surprised. A spectator? That's not the name I thought they, that it was. Dorn, initiate of the living library. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I saved. I'm so mad that they got involved. I purposely left them back there. Oh. I don't want to actually kill that guy, but I should incapacitate him. But I can't incapacitate him with arrows. I tried doing that before and that did not work. <laughs> that, that kills them. Um, what are you weak to, if anything? What is it? What is the not spectator? What is the word I was thinking of? It's on the cover. These guys are like on the cover of all the D&D books. A beholder! I was thinking beholder! That's the word I was thinking of. Um, resistance is none. Has dark vision and opportunity attack. An aberration. Uh, do I have stuff for aberrations? Uh, no. Excuse me! You can do how many spells? How many? Oh no! 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 Oh, I can use my one spell that lets me not be afraid. Mm, well, we are hiding now, so. Or we can hide. Uh, I am going to be in to fight. And that is all I can do. Because I don't want to do another concentration spell. They might not be able to hit me in here. Darkness, I can't examine dark. I think that's what it is. They can't see me and I can't see them. Wow, it really doesn't like Will. Ooh, baby. Where are you going, you bastard? Dang, Nebbit, how am I supposed to... We can't move, I'm gonna try to put her back in the darkness, but... Ah, oh, path interrupted, nerd! Get up here. I'm, I'm gonna moonbeam you. Oh, I am. I am not seeing. Very well. I'm gonna. Mo I'm gonna moonbeam this guy so that he can freaking. I am still blind. Let's see if I can't chase it off. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Yep. Oh, that was my bad, Carlac. It was. It was. He's gonna eat Will! Oh my god, I was like, he's gonna eat Will! Haha! <gasps> Don't do that! No! Hellish review. Wait, no! Okay. Okay, you're not dead. Listen, I know these are bad drow, probably, but like... See if I can actually. No time to waste. Oh, oh bye. Oh, nope, I can't. No bye. Just, uh, okay. I mean, must be a dippable surface. Okay. You better not be able to do spells after dashing. That's really unfair. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, Oh, okay. I was like, what is he doing? I see now what he is doing. Um. 
This guy is so low. Give me up there. Uh, this is not a concentration. Oh yes, we are freaking divine smiting this guy. And then... I'm gonna hit it. Oh my gosh! I know I probably don't need to do that, but I, I am because I'm worried. Yeah, don't try to leave. Here. My concentration's broken. Are you dead yet? He's paralyzed. Okay, not not paralyzed. Oh, jeez. Are they fighting each other? They are firing at each other. Why? Why is this guy not not fighting me? He's my friend. How? I'm gonna have to bring Carlac back. Dang, damn it. Oh, he is. So dead. <coughs> Dust on my. <laughs> what? I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator. Squit. Quite ruined my ambush. Now, you are? Parlay offered. Yeah, it's because the drow, they all betray each other, blah, blah, blah. Accustomed to a little more respect from the male. I'm not actually. I'm a nice drow. I'm a surface drow. Let's go with that. Yells of the Underdark. The drow have been fighting a massive civil war since the goddess Walt severed herself from the Elvish pantheon. A betrayal scarring every generation that followed. Drow cities struggle one with with one another for dominance. With the true war between the cultists who serve Loth and those who resist the goddess's corruption. Uh, who are you first? We simply haven't time for all of my titles. I am Dor oh, third son, third son what? of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! Your crystal not A working? Shard, oh. A container onto which brief mental impressions are projected and stored for years at a time. Um. But yes, one of the things that made the drow so evil was that they were matriarchal. My goodness, can you guys imagine a worse thing than that? Oh, I know. And, and they were dark-skinned. Mm. Just the... Well, let me try to, I'm trying to think of a trifecta thing here. They were matriarchal, they were dark-skinned, and... Dang, I can't think of the trifecta. A double-fecta? The double-fecta of evil! <laughs> oh, the duo of evil. Yeah. Anyway, really ham-handed. <laughs> like, really ham-handed. And just weird. Just, like, really? Like, really, you people went with that? Uh, not, um, the Baldur's Gate people, obviously. It's the people who came up with Drow in the first place. Uh, which is hilarious, because matriarchal societies, or matriarchal tendencies, actually tend to be a lot more stable for the animal kingdom human or uh, animal, like a uh, non-human animal or whatever, you know, uh, they tend to be more stable. So, <laughs> it's just funny to me that they're like the most evilest things we can think of, dark skin and women running things. <laughs> like, I just, it's, huh, anyway. Uh, it's fading the memory shard. It's been, you've been frozen for a while. Far, far longer than I realized. Then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? I wonder if this would be different if I wasn't a drow. If he'd be like... he's. I think he's assuming that I am understanding. I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Impossible. The master of the adamantine forge would be known you? and feared throughout the Underdark. I think I can make my stuff with Unless. that. Huh. Ha! The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. If they had just surrendered their research to me, we might have found the forge together. But no, 
They hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the shard. And now I can claim the forge alone. I wonder how long he's been petrified, because I was going to say, all his people he knows are probably dead, but he is an elf, so they do live for a very long time. I think it was like 500 years or something for the drow, at least in the Drist books, um, which is old material, but um, 500, 600 years. Um, you'll claim nothing. I know the great out of here. No. alone don't you still need your rivals research they knew of the forge's defenses its operation true enough but i know its location the rest i can figure out with time now i am the only one searching or almost the only are you gonna one. try you proved your power oh my me. gosh but i need no more rivals try to take this as a compliment yes my my dude was there any way I could have um, not done that? Because uh, I do not want to be killing people right out the gate. The adamantine, a group of drow wizards, yeah. The adamantine forge is what will help us do, I think the masterwork weapon. Anyway, you want me to fight in this condition? I'm not doing so hot. I just be a freaking what is it? No, not a spectator. I don't like that. Beholder. I just beat a beholder. I know there's different kinds of beholders, but um, anyway, I think I have been talking for a very long time, so I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. I'm so thrilled we went over this way first, though. Really, what happened to the guy that was nice to me? Is he not around anymore? They all have names. I wonder if I kill this guy, if I can then uh, interrogate him with necromancy. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to fight. I know they're not. These ones are not nice so far. But you can't really just assume everyone's gonna be mean. I mean, you can a little. You can at least be cautious going into your dealings. Anyway. Let's go ahead and call it here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you, Adam and Fane, so much for your support. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, who's been a patron for a long time and who I very, very much appreciate. Thank you, Reese Galito. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who it's just super great like like recommending me to people on twitter who were looking for more women youtubers i saw that and thank you so much i appreciate that i don't upload as much as i should or as consistently as i should but i appreciate you sticking with me all through this anyway so thank you again and thank you all for watching i hope to see you in the next one